for someone that's new to the idea of cover crops, uh, I often recommend uh, starting small. So identify some cover crop species and varieties that will work where you are. And uh, typically that would be a clover or vetch mixed with something like triticale or oats and grow that over the winter in a small area. Don't need to grow the entire field, so uh, pick a small area and see what you think. Get comfortable with managing those, planting those, see how they grow and perform. There's a lot of benefits to cover crops, but you know, from a farmer's point of view, I think your best value is, is the kind of good things it does for your soil. Water infiltration, increased biological activity, increased fer fertility, those are the real things that you can see and feel as a farmer. As far as what's necessary to plant cover crops, uh, if you can plant uh, your cotton or tomatoes or, uh, or you're used to planting grain, it's going to be no different planting cover crops. Seed relatively inexpensive. The practices of planting no different than what you're used to uh, doing to plant your cash crop. NRCS has two conservation practices that are similar. One for cover crops and the other for conservation cover. And the primary difference between them is the age or the lifespan of the practice. When we're talking about conservation cover, what we're implying is something that's going to be permanent. So a permanent vegetative cover on the ground. And that would include perennial species, grasses and forbs, and even woody species. When we're talking about uh, the cover crop practice, that's going to be primarily annual species. So clovers, uh, grasses that will reseed at the end of the season. So there's 25 basic plants that most, uh, that probably comprise 90%, 95% of all the cover crops. And those things are your big bell beans, peas, vetch, oats, those are called green manure mixes. Uh, then you have your annual uh, that can reseed, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, things like crimson clover. Things like crimson clover, mustards, blando brome grass, rose clover, phacelia. These are all your forbs and legumes and grasses, but they're all annuals. You're going to plant them and they're either going to get dissed in, like a mixture of bursim and crimson clover, or they're going to be reseed, like your subclovers or your medics, and mowed off like in almond orchards and then re come back every year. For more information about NRCS conservation programs, contact your local NRCS office or visit our website.